In this tutorial in Photoshop Elements 2018, I'd like to show you a very simple way to create any number of arrow-shaped graphics that you can use in other programs. I do a lot of photo editing and I like to have an arrow graphic I can move around the screen and manipulate. But my program, like any other, doesn't have all the arrows in the size or shape or color or proportion that I would prefer. Now it's possible to go out on the internet and look for some, but it's actually quite easy to create your own and you don't have to worry about royalties when you design your own in Photoshop Elements 2018. Let me show you how easy it is. So what we're going to do is create a new file. I'll click on the File menu in the upper left corner at the top and click on New and click on Blank File. And now the important thing is make sure the background is set to Transparent. I'm going to click on a size and I can use any size I want. I've got this set to 1600 by 1600. That's probably bigger than I need, but we'll start out with it anyway. So I'll click on OK. And now I have my transparent background. Now I need to create an arrow. My problem is in the drawing section, I don't see anything that looks like an arrow. I do see a blue symbol. This one happens to be a rectangle. Yours might be a circle or anything else, but when you click on the blue object, you have the shape menu at the bottom, and you see seven different shapes. You have a square rectangle, rounded rectangle, a star, you have a polygon, and then you have an ellipse. But then in the upper left, you have a custom shape. This is the one we're going to use. I can click on that, and here it happens to give me a heart. It will open to the last shape that you used. And so I'm going to click the down arrow, and I notice I have more shapes than the heart. When I drag down to the second row, I see that I have three arrows. I have an arrow 5, an arrow 7, and an arrow 9. I'm going to use the arrow 9 in this example. You can use any of the three that you prefer. And that then occupies my box. Now the color of the arrow is determined by the box to the right and down from the arrow. Right now it's black. I'll click on this and we'll click a new color. Let's do a light blue for now. And then we have some other controls we'll look at later. So all I need to do is hold the left mouse button and I can drag in any direction. I'll drag here and now it's going to create an arrow. Now I can control the width and the length. I cannot control the proportions between the head of the arrow and the rest of the arrow. But we'll start with one out like this so it's easy to see on the recording screen. And there's my blue arrow. Now if that's all I wanted, that's fine, but you can do so much more than this. Let me show you. We're going to add some styles to our arrow. To do that, I click on the third icon from the right at the bottom of my screen called Styles. It will open up my Style panel. And when I click on the down arrow, I see I have all these options for styling my arrow. The first one is bevels. And here, if I look, I have 10 different bevels I can apply to my style. These are called presets. So if I want a simple, sharp inner bevel, I click on this. Now, I don't see much change in my image. I see a little bit here. If I want to see more of it, I can click on the gear at the top. That will change my settings. And now in the settings window, I'm going to simply change the size. And now you'll see what that bevel does to the image. We can also modify the drop shadow, the glow, and the stroke in this image. I'll click on cancel. And now let's try another one. This is yet another. This is a simple sharp outer. But again, so you can see better, I'm going to just increase the size and there's a little bit of an outer bevel on my arrow. So let's just take an inner ridge and look at that slightly magnified. We'll increase that and there's yet another arrow. 
we can use simply by changing one of the style features. I'll click on OK. Now besides bevels, we have complex, we can, can put a drop shadow on there. Again, we have eight presets for drop shadow. We'll use a soft edge here for a drop shadow, and you can see it slightly. But again, if you want to see more, click on the gear, and then you can change the size of the drop shadow. You see all of a sudden the more pixels are darker around the arrow. We'll click on OK. Now if you want to have fun with colors, there are several that are really nice. You can choose glass buttons and then you can just double click on it and it will override some other settings and now I have this green arrow. Now once you have some of these set, all you need to do is click on the double headed arrow and the select panel and then I can reshape or resize or reproportion my arrow all I want and if I want to remove any styles and I can click clear layer style it goes back to my nice little blue arrow so now I could say I want a purple glass color and we can go back to other features of the arrow and change that the stroke is basically your outline and here we have all these presets we can use for a stroke or we can click again on the gear and change the size of it and that will change some different shapes on the stroke. I can change the bevel, I can change the stroke of my arrow. So these are all ways in which you can customize any of these presets and again if you want to go back to the way you started, make sure you have it selected with a double-headed arrow. Right-click and do clear layer style, and you're back. Let's assume that we, uh, let's pick one other one. Let's do the, the uh, uh, this option here, and let's create a um, bevel again on this. We'll do a simple inner, and we'll make it a little bit bigger. I'll click on the gear. Click on OK, and um, let's give it a stroke. We'll go to this option here, and now let's assume I want to save this. I can save it as a file I can edit again by clicking on the File menu and clicking on Save As, and the default will be a PSD file. And if I save it as a PSD file, that means I can edit it again as often as I want. But let's assume I'm finished with it. I won't edit it again. I can click the down arrow and choose a PNG file. And give it a title. I'll call this arrow 2 and press enter and then click on OK. And now I have this as a file that I can save that I can apply in any piece of software I like. And I can make as many of these with as many different proportions, shapes, colors, or different features as I want to use in any of my projects using Photoshop Elements 2018.